So sometimes your creative falcon laser head is going to need some cleaning. Usually the laser head lens indicator will light up red and the machine will be beeping some loud alarm. When this happens, you need to clean the laser head. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clean your creative falcon laser head. And of course, if you have any other diode laser head, perhaps with another machine, so you can follow the same steps to clean the head. Before you go any further, let's look at some of the items you're going to need to be able to clean your diode laser. If you want to make your things easier, just get a lens cleaning toolkit from Amazon. I'll link a couple of those that I've used before in the description. But in case you want to do it the hard way, then you're going to need a stone or isoprofile alcohol or mentholated spirit. Then you'll need a lint-free cloth. These ones, you can usually find them with DSLR cameras. Then you can have a normal tissue paper. This is just going to be used to wipe the lens cover. And here I have two matchsticks. Uh, instead of a matchstick, you could have a Q-tip or an earbud. That will be better. So for me, I'm using a matchstick and some cotton. Apart from a matchstick, you can also use a toothpick or something that's just uh, thin enough to go through the laser hole of the safety cover. So that's why we need a matchstick. Otherwise, if you can reach the safety cover hole with any other tool or item, that will be just fine. So you don't need to use the matchstick. So those are the items that we're going to use to be able to clean our diode laser lens. Okay, so let's get to the cleaning part. So first off, we're going to unscrew the bottom part. The bottom part is secured with four hexagonal screws. We're going to use some Allen wrenches to unscrew the hex keys. The Falcom is shipped with the Allen wrenches, but you can use any Allen wrenches you may be having from other toolkits. It doesn't really matter. When unscrewing the bottom, just make sure that your fingers are not oily or else you're going to have a very difficult time turning the Allen wrenches. At the same time, I found it difficult to unscrew the hex keys while wearing gloves. So if you prefer wearing gloves at the workshop, this is something that you might want to consider. Now that we're done, there's the bottom part. That's the protective part that guides the laser beam directly to the material that you're cutting or engraving. And there you can see that's where the laser beam comes from. So next we're going to open the top part. The top part is secured into place with four hex keys. We're going to use the same Allen wrenches to unscrew the keys. Now this time I might want to mention that ensuring your laser head is in tip-top condition is really important if you want to avoid charred edges when working on products like wood, paper, acrylic or any other materials. Ideally, you want to clean your laser head as soon as the alarm goes off or after 15 to 20 hours of fuse. So depending on how busy you are with your machine, you might want to keep that into mind. So there we go. You can see the top part. We've opened the top part and inside you can see the electronic board of the laser head. This board usually gets uh, piled up with some dust and debris with continuous use so we're also going to have to clean that top area we're going to use a soft brush this is just a regular paint brush or you can just use any painting brush that you have at your workshop as long as the bristles are soft just that one will work so cleaning is all a matter of just brushing lightly at the electronic board to ensure that there are no there's no dust or no debris lodged there. You're going to have to do a physical examination. Just look at the electronic board and brush off any dust or debris that might have accumulated over the hours that you've been using your Creality Falcon. Give it a good clean. 
here I had to blow it a little bit just to remove all the dirt and from there we go into the side air holes these air holes also have a lot of dust and debris from continuous use that dust and debris can affect the performance of your lens so we have to blow just to get the dirt out if you spot any dust on the inside just make sure you brush slightly if you have an air blower that will be the best way to go about this and here we are cleaning the bottom protective part of the laser give it a good brush blow here and there just to make sure no dust is left in any of the edges or maybe on the insides of the safety cover now this can take some time depending on how dirty your laser head was so here it's up to you use your judgment brush clean the laser head for as long as you wish but usually just a quick five minute clean five to ten minutes clean should be enough no need for you to spend an hour just brushing the dust off i mean what kind of dust might you be having <laughs> so there's the interior of the safety cover it's very very dirty we're going to go over and do some wiping and to do this we'll need to use estone or isoprofile alcohol or mentholated spirit so i'm using mentholated spirit you definitely don't want to use water or oil because the oil can get sticky and if it gets into contact with the lens glasses then it might mess with the accuracy of the laser beam so here i've just using a lint free clothing to gently wipe the lens glass make sure you've wet the cloth just very very slightly you don't want it to be overly wet you don't want to see any liquid on top of the glass and so next we have to clean the interior of the safety cover through which the laser beam goes through and over here having q-tips will be better but for the falcon cruelty pro i realized that uh, the safety cover has a very very small hole it's quite thin and the usual q-tip buds cannot go through so that's why i've decided to use a matchbox stick i've just run around some cotton wool and then wet it up with the methylated spirit now um, gently taking it through the hole and rotating it to make sure it gathers any dust that's on the side the camera is not doing justice to show you how dirty the cotton wool became uh, depending on how frequently you've been using your machine it might be very very dirty such that you might need to do a couple of rings so this is a challenging part uh, if the matchbox thing doesn't work for you you can try something else perhaps a toothpick or a very very thin wire just make sure that the item that you're using just make sure when you put it through the hole it doesn't go and touch the lens at the bottom so i decided here just to ring the cotton wool on by itself and push it through the hole and you can see there's some black soot on the cotton wool so i'll just continue doing this for a couple of times until when i when i finally put the cotton wool inside and i see there's no soot then i'll know that the interior is clean okay now that we're done with the interior we can start cleaning the exterior of the safety cap you can see how dirty it was all that uh, dirt is coming from the many papers and wood that have been cutting so just take your time here wipe the safety cover make sure that you don't touch the lens with your hand and also you don't pour any kind of liquids on the lens glasses you don't want to risk damaging your machine or reducing its lifespan so i'll just continue uh, cleaning 
then I use the tissue paper just to dry it up before finally fixing it back to the laser head. Okay, so it's now time to screw back our parts. We're starting with the top part. Uh, using the allen wrenches to screw back the hex keys. Put your laser head on a flat surface and make sure you have enough space for your fingers to do the turning. Of course, it helps if you have a work workshop bench uh, over here. Just put the laser head on top of the honeycomb and well, it worked for me. No right way or wrong way just get it done with the top done we're now going to uh, fix the bottom safety cover just make sure you align the protruding area with the path of the lens beam then of course screw back the hex keys use your allen wrenches to do this so there we go we can see that the bottom part is secured now we're just going to fix back our laser head with the machine and get it tested so when you switch on the machine is still going to show the same error. The lens LED light is, will still be flickering and the machine will still be producing that alarm noise. This is a false positive, so what you need to do is just go to the top of the laser head and press that black button. That is the reset button and when you press it then the lens light will turn green and the machine will stop beeping. Now we can test uh, the laser head. Uh, you can see that the lens LED is still green and there's no alarm beeping and let's see how this test material comes out there we go you can see the material and there's no charring on the edges and that's how it's supposed to be so the lens is clean now you know how to clean your Creality Falcon laser head mm -hmm.